Hello, I am Francesco Marchesoni and today I wanted to talk about uh, the three pills, black, red and blue, what their views on the dating market are, the making selection and the philosophy behind them. Most people pretty much know how the red pill and the blue pill work, but uh, some inconsistency in how they conceive the black pill, because it's more recent and because the ideas surrounding it are more divided compared to the blue pill and the red one. Like in the case of nihilism, there's an op optimistic, which I am, or positive black pill, and a pessimistic or toxic black pill. These two pills have in common ground that the main attraction for women or men is uh, outer beauty. Some black pillars think that it's the only thing that matters, while others believe that it's the basis of attraction and other factors, such as physique, and many increase such attraction. I stand with the second one. Healthy physiques on a bad-looking face are seen on as a compensation, like no monument can be built without a basis, no attraction can be built without a good-looking face. There's, uh, you won't uh, have uh, sex if you are not uh, sexually attractive. But of course, the gym also improves the face uh, drastically. We lose uh, body fat and we have more testosterone when we progress in the gym. But we, if we have uh, acne, we should do everything in order to get it removed. What uh, we need to understand is that uh, when a man or when a woman get uh, rejected, is uh, like uh, saying that uh, their uh, genetic were unworthy to be passed on the next generation. That's why the black pill, which philosophy is uh, rooted in uh, genetics, is uh, the true one, and that's why inevitably some people want to reproduce. Because uh, no one wants a partner with uh, Down syndrome, because uh, his syndrome will be transmitted to his son and the implications of that are negative, such as uh, unjust suffering and uh, suffering that could be avoided. This is the ground where the toxic and the positive black pill are separated. The most toxic of the black pills state that uh, if you aren't uh, 6 feet 5 inches, your jawline isn't perfect, you aren't a millionaire and you aren't a world-class athlete, you will remain single for the rest of your life. This uh, extreme doesn't exist, I made this up. It's just so you can get the concept. While the most positive black build states that if you, whoever you are, put all your effort in improving yourself and do everything in order to show your full potential, you will eventually find a partner and have a children, even if you are afflicted by bad disabilities. The truth is somewhere between these two extremes. People with bad genetics will not spread the genes to the next generation. This line is, however, tilting towards the first extreme, because modern society is setting unrealistic expectations for women, mainly through social media such as Instagram and TikTok. I saw a video from Courtney Ryan the other day and some women were saying that they deserve a man with 650,000 yearly income. Even an unattractive woman said that, which is something like 0.2% of the population. Faith must be concrete. We cannot look in really bad shape and insist that women find us attractive. We cannot have no value in a market where it's based on value. And that's why I think it is our duty, our job, to look the most attractive to the opposite sex as possible, so that she or he can better grasp what our full potential is so that he or she can see that we have a good uh, genetics. The red pill and the black pill are divided on whether the opinion of what trait is most attractive in a man. The red pill says that it is confidence and physique, while the black pill suggests that the factors that play a major role are face and height. Both the black pill and the red pill try to understand what is healthiest, what is better suited for a man. While physique is a great form of attraction, it has been proven on scientific basis that face is more important 
in a tactic a partner. This is because having a great physique doesn't mean being healthy, but having a healthy face does. Both the physique for the red pill and the face for the black pill have the main source which is healthy, but the red pill has his priorities set wrong. Displaying health displays discipline, persistence and a good and efficient use of the resources with a child given to the person by chance, like money, genetics and the environment. If you are unhealthy, it means that uh, you are using uh, your resources unwisely. For example, if you smoke, uh, it uh, means that uh, you don't care about uh, your uh, children, because uh, if you die and you leave your children alone, your uh, children will be left in a difficult situation to deal with, which you could have avoided if you used your resources more efficiently. There are many factors that must be taken into consideration when talking about dating. For example, the fact that steroids are setting unrealistic standards for women. For women. The fake natties, like uh, Liver King, well, in that case he was obvious, but uh, in other cases it's uh, more debatable, like uh, David Lade, we still don't know if he's a uh, natty or not, uh, it's uh, more likely that he's not. Uh, well, anyways who lie about the usage to gain more money, at the point that saying someone with a great natural physique to be considered as a mediocre, and the only way for him to get past this bad judgment is to, be is to become unhealthy but by taking steroids. Therefore, I will try to make this as uh, simple as uh, possible. People do not uh, realize it, but uh, most philosophers would uh, choose the black pill in the dating life and uh, in the everyday life. Uh, due to the previous mistakes uh, pe people usually make, uh, for example, they colorate uh, with black pillars that uh, with pessimism and uh, depression. The black pill philosopher is uh, Schopenhauer, but uh, this could be, be farther from the truth. Suicide isn't an option to escape the will for Schopenhauer and black pills principles like uh, lux maxing, gym maxing and money maxing are the three that allow the will, our genetic, to spread as much as possible. The philosopher I want to talk about instead is Kierkegaard. The blue pill is a child's dream. It incites people to just be themselves without actually putting in any effort. The blue pill is the hedonistic or the aesthetic man, like Kierkegaard would call him. Just be yourself is also the advice I would give as an optimistic black pillar, but with self I mean the Jungian self, also known as Kierkegaard's religious man or our maximum genetic potential. The blue pill is a fairy tale telling people that they'll get loved for whoever they are, but women want something brought to the table. They believe uh, such a conspiracy theory because they think that every man is equal, but it's not true. High value men contribute a lot to society, while uh, low value men contribute less or are damaging. In my book, I called Kierkegaard's religious men the genetic men. But why? If we are our maximum genetic potential, we won't loom in the risk the ethical man has when thinking about his past choices whether he married the right woman or made the right choice in various circumstances. Because if we are our maximum genetic potential, we know that the woman we are going to marry is the best choice for us, because she is the woman our genetic man can afford and therefore she is the best woman we can have. Many red pillars criticize women for choosing their men based on height. I believe that height is important for protecting the other partner and it's an indicator of a higher spare count and uh, therefore uh, the fertility in the case of men. In uh, most cases, penis length is uh, directly proportional to a person's height, except for some uh, genetic outliers, outliers uh, but, uh, which means uh, more pleasure during a uh, bad time. But uh, these genetic outliers are like 5% uh, of the population, so it's not something women consider, also because they can't see the penis uh, directly, because you can't uh, walk naked uh, on the street, unfortunately. 
a higher sperm count can also be achieved with uh, healthier lifestyles, uh, less sedentary and more seeking on adventures and goals. Uh, so we must set our goals properly. Our dopamine levels are higher when our goals are set more properly. Dopamine is not a molecule of pleasure, it's a molecule of reward, as some people may confound it too. We can feel the pleasure even when we don't feel dopamine. I explained, so it can also be uh, seen as uh, the self, the overman, like Nietzsche would call it, as the man, as the version of us who has the most dopamine. I explained in the video where I criticized Adrem that uh, usually people, especially younger ones, don't know much about the ingravidation process. It's a very rare source of sex to succeed in its purpose, even when uh, we don't use protection. We can increment such possibility with uh, having healthier lifestyles that lead to a higher sperm count. The Optimistic uh, black pill leads to a lifestyle uh, aimed at climbing the social hierarchy and uh, therefore having more testosterone, being healthier and having more sperm cells. So it's the best lifestyle to adopt, in my opinion. If we conceptualize the hardest task we can, the pleasure when taking the steps in the journey uh, is the highest possible. Such a task can very well be become the greatest version of myself, and the positive black pill is the best at doing so. As much as I hate the blue pill, I hate the red pill more. I believe that I believe that the red pill kills uh, false hopes to people because uh, for them only confidence matters uh, and uh, physical second. But we know very well that uh, this is not the case. Black pillars believe that. Uh, and attractive people who display confidence are in reality arrogant, but I don't think that's the case. They were simply brainwashed by red pill media. But why can't you be confident when uh, unattractive? A person who has more proof to believe in yourself, that means uh, he has a better physique and more money, will uh, be less demotivated and more motivated than people who do not. Confidence doesn't come from nowhere. So. For example, as what I said, one who has gone to the gym for four years and still goes for health reasons will have more confidence and it's harder for him to stop than a gym beginner who is uncertain whether he will still go on if he encounters some complications on his journey. The red pill can be seen as Kierkegaard's ethical man, a person who settles and lives a mediocre or above mediocre but not to the full potential life. The positive black pill offers way more efficient options than the red pill, such as lux maxing, money maxing, gym maxing. Lux maxing is uh, overrated, it should be done by everyone even uh, if you don't uh, want uh, a partner, because many people do not know about the bad habits they have that made them look uh, less attractive. For example, 75% of Americans suffer from chronic de dehydration that makes us uh, age faster and uh, our skin uh, looks unhealthy as a result. And uh, 31 million suffer from the bad habit of uh, assuming an incorrect posture. A uh, correct posture is a sign of uh, confidence and therefore typical of someone in a higher place uh, in the social hierarchy. Another example, mouth breathing leads to a worse and unhealthier life jawline. Mouth breathing is bad for whole hygiene because it doesn't filter the bacteria, unlike nasal breathing. And someone with a weaker jawline is knocked out in a fight more easily, but that's a detail. Other philosophers would take the optimistic black pill as well just as Heidegger, because the only way to live authentically is to live our life to the fullest. <clears throat> and uh, the only one who can live uh, life to the fullest is uh, the genetic man. And uh, we really are is realizing that one day we will die uh, like the authentic man uh, does. Uh, we become aware of the fact that we must le live a legacy, usually having children to remember us. Or Carl Jung, because uh, the self coincides with the healthiest version of us and uh, our maximum genetic potential, or Nietzsche, because the Overman is a model of the highest life 
affirming men and to affirm our life we must be healthy because without health we die or socrates with his famous phrase it is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and the strength which his body is capable of or plato whose philosophy states that the truth coincides to the just and the beautiful so our true life is lived only by the most beautiful version of us the list goes on Uh, what is making the black pill more popular by the day is uh, hypergamy. If uh, the trend still goes on like this, uh, many more men won't uh, produce offspring compared to the previous generations. Some statistics say that uh, at this rate 25% of men will be lonely for uh, uh, their whole life, they will never have a girlfriend uh, and uh, therefore won't produce an offspring, while others say that uh, 90% of men feel lonely because their girlfriend doesn't love them back and uh, just exploits them because uh, they aren't at- attractive so they don't have uh, another choice because it's more it's hard to find uh, a woman as a man than uh, a man as a woman. Uh, I don't dislike this uh, women's preference, but uh, I dislike their ego. I think they are too arrogant. Every woman nowadays thinks they deserve the best man in the world, while in reality it's not the case. Women uh, should date up in the hierarchy because uh, men are better than women to go up the hierarchy, because the social hierarchy is uh, masculine. But there is a concept that is starting to rise in uh, today's world, which is uh, hypergamy, which I talked about, about uh, before. That means a medium quality woman dating a high quality man. Or someone lower in the hierarchy dating someone very high. Men have to work hard in order to marry the woman they want. I don't see why women shouldn't work hard as well. Maybe even less harder than men. I also think that some women haven't set their priorities in the right way. A healthy 5 feet 6 inches man can be better in bed than the uh, six feet uh, two in such an uh, unhealthy guy so the rational choice will be the shorter one but it's not always the case if you can't date uh, these uh, types of girls don't worry you are missing a bullet because they live uh, in a reality that different from uh, their the real world so okay that's uh, that's it for today i hope uh, you found the video uh, helpful so i'll see you on the next time bye